You know, we hear about police dogs, right? And sometimes you think about a German Shepherd or a Belgian Malinois these days. But do you think about a bloodhound? You should, because they are so effective. Sar Sergeant Dave Rowland is here from the Gastonia Police Department, along with Bo. How are yes, you? Yes, good. Thank you for having us. We're so glad to have you here. We've been talking about Bo all morning long. Tell us about Bo. He's only, what, 10 months old? He is 10 months old. He is a bloodhound from Kentucky. And uh, we got him when he was 10 weeks old and started training from then. What is it about a bloodhound that makes <laughs> that makes <laughs> them so good at this job? So. The human body has around six million olfactory receptors, which is a, a, your ability to smell. It's at the base of your skull. Dogs, on average, have around 230 million. Wow. Bo here has 300 million olfactory receptors. Oh, my goodness. So that makes him the, one of the strongest smellers in the entire planet. And I bet he's smelling leftover food in that garbage yes, can over there. Yes, so. he, can, he, can smell, <laughs> uh, he can smell odor up to 12 days old. Oh, my gosh. They're so, it's so brilliant, and he's been very busy since he's been on the job. He's only been yes. on the job a short amount of time. Correct. He's already helped with some really good cases. Yes, so we have, we've had the ability uh, and the uh, pleasure of helping to locate an elderly uh, dementia patient that mm. walked out of a nursing home. He was able to track and find him. Uh, shortly after that, we were able to track down a uh, juvenile um, special needs child that got out in the middle of the night. Well, he was able to track and uh, help our, cover, uh, our perimeter officers locate him. Mm. And uh, here recently, he uh, nabbed his first criminal apprehension, got two uh, robbery suspects. Really? Yes. How does it work with them? How are you able, let's use the, the adult that he was able to help find. Yes. What's the process? How do you get him on the case? So, uh, in that instance, he, <laughs> smelling rocks over here. He uh, was given a pillowcase that belonged to the elderly gentleman. Really? He used that specific smell, and we casted him in the area where he was last seen, and he was able to pick his odor up. And uh, we tracked uh, across 321, a very busy highway in Gastonia. Uh, tractor trailers were coming down. He kept his nose down on the ground. Um, and was able to uh, track us to the to the elderly gentleman there. Had you worked with a bloodhound before? No, um, I've only worked with uh, Belgian Malinois and German Shepherds yeah. and, and Dutch Shepherds. Uh, my my pr previous dog was a German Shepherd. He retired and then um, one thing led to another and uh, we were uh, given the opportunity to team up with the Jimmy Rice Center um, and they gave us the funds and they purchased uh, canine bow here for us and everything just kind of fell into place and something guys only wanted to try. Yeah, the, the training for these dogs, the making sure they have everything that they need, it is pretty expensive. Yes. It's an investment by a it, police it department, is, but is. you all have a lot of canines that you work we with. We do. We uh, Currently, uh, he makes the seventh. We have, uh, we have uh, six uh, police dogs. We have two German Shepherds. We have uh, three uh, Belgian Malinois, and we have one Dutch Shepherd. Oh my gosh. Well, Bo, good work, buddy. Good work already. And he'll stay on the job for as long as his sniffer is doing it, right? As long as his body's able to do it and he's doing, uh, he's happy and his tail's wagging while he's tracking, he's going to continue to track. I have about 30 seconds left, but it's different with, with, a, with a dog like Bo than it is with maybe the German Shepherds and Bel Belgian Malinois, right? Yeah. Because of this right yes, here. It's he, a different kind yeah, of training. It's encouraging uh, to pet him and everything. Like I said, not like our German Shepherd. <laughs> he, uh, he, he, he's just a lovable dog, and like I said, he, he loves tracking, and it's in his blood, and that's what he likes to do, and we're here to serve the citizens of uh, Gaston County and uh, just try to help him out as best as we can. Well, I think it's brilliant. I'm so delighted that you came to see us. Thank you for bringing Thank y'all so much you. for having us. Uh, we have all the information for the Gastonia Police Department. We'll put it on our, our website as well if you want to get more information about the work that Bo is doing and all the fine folks that work over there in Gastonia. Good to see you. Thank oh, you so much. Mary King, Bo is a love. I just want to come out and just rub his ears. He's he really just, soft. His uh, ears are really soft. He's such a good boy. He's a big boy. He's like when he boy. jumps up there, my goodness. I know, I know. Well, his nose knows. We can't <laughs> wait to see what else Bo does. Thank you, Kristen. You got it.